All right, I ran out here because I want to show you guys something. Uh, I was seeing huge numbers out here. Um, over 10 amps coming in off those two solar panels. I'm going to try and steady the camera a little bit so you can see this. But 26.6 uh, .6 volts coming in. We're going to see if we can get one of these huge spikes. Right now there's a lot of clouds out, but when the clouds move, this thing really, really jumps up. So I want to see if I can catch it for you guys. And then there's 10.88 amps max. Uh, it'll cycle back around 327 watts coming in off 350 watts of panels. It's not bad at all. Uh, we've already got 8 amp hours, which on the cloudy day we did the other day, a couple days ago, we had 10 amp hours for the whole day. So it's going to be interesting to see uh, what we get today. And it's not even 9 o'clock in the morning yet. So here we go. Here's a run up. All right, saw about 9 amps there. So we're getting some really, really good numbers off two panels, which is incredible. Uh, these are 24 volt, 175 watt monocrystalline panels. Um, I just put in a order, or I'm sorry, a, uh, a bid on four panels, 200 watts. They're polycrystalline, uh, but that will put my total up to 1,350 watt hours uh, or watts per hour, because um, we're going to go completely off the grid. I'm just going to talk here while this thing ramps up. Hopefully we'll see a, over 10 here. But uh, we're going to put a generator panel in so we can switch the circuits in our house to an inverter off the battery bank. There we go. Look at that. 10.7. Come on, go. 10.8. 10.8 amps coming in right now. 309 watts. Let's see if we can catch the kilowatt meter. There we go, 267, 268 watts coming into the house. So that's not bad at all. Let's see how long the meter's been on. Two hours and 30 minutes, 0.2 kilowatt hours so far. Perhaps the time hasn't been like this, I wish it was. So here we go for the drop again. I doubt you can hear it, but when this thing starts really putting out power, uh, the power jack starts humming like crazy. So we got a nice little cloud going by right now. Yeah, but you can see 350 watts of panels, at least monocrystalline, seem to do really, really well at direct sunlight. Uh, the polys, from what I understand, the advantage is they're more efficient on cloudy days than a monocrystalline, but not as efficient in direct sunlight, and they're more prone to heat loss. And so everything's going to move to the roof. I'm even going to take the solar tracker apart because in the winter time it just sits there in the shade uh, because the sun's so low, the sun goes behind the trees in the back of my house where when I set up the solar tracker before, or at least uh, placed it outside to be built, that wasn't the case at all. It was more in the summertime, so I, I didn't have to deal with any of that. But uh, once again, planning. So definitely want to plan better. I noticed the top of my roof um, gets sun uh, from the time the sun goes up to the time the sun goes down. So my house is almost perfectly facing south, or the back of my house anyway. Um, but we don't have much going on right now. Let's see if we can get another ramp up here. Let me look outside without shaking the camera. So we don't have a lot of sunlight right now, but it's coming up pretty good. I can see out of the corner of my eye, the window in my front living room just got really bright. So this little meter's cool. This is just for temporary testing, too. A couple people have said, you know, what about loss and all that kind of stuff. You know, I wired this thing in just to see what was coming in versus what was coming out of the power jack. This whole setup right here is probably going to come down uh, and get moved over more towards my panel. So there's some good numbers there more towards my, my home house panel because I want to be able to divert my inverters. Uh, there you go, 10.4, to, to different circuits of the house. So the living room is a key one. In the living room, I did a test with the kilowatt meters. Uh, and there's only one plug we use on that circuit. And we used about 2.4 kilowatt hours for six hours of usage. And that's with the home entertainment system. So I think we should be able to generate that with 1,350 
uh, watts per hour of panels into battery banks from an inverter. So we'll just play it by ear and I'll keep updating you guys with videos. Uh, thanks a lot for your help and uh, thanks for the replies and all that kind of stuff. It has been helpful. So we get the picture of the meter pumping in. And we'll take one more look. 296 coming in. Looks pretty stable. 259. It's probably going to drop here. I don't know if you guys can see how the light's on. There we go. So not bad at all. That's good off two panels through a power jack. I mean, in phase, you might get better. But you're going to spend a lot more money, too. And I'm, I'm trying to go off-grid, so this setup is temporary. I'm going to end up using this power jack just to uh, dump excess power back into the grid when we don't use it. Uh, maybe I'll sell it. Who knows? All right, guys. Talk to you later. Thanks for watching. 10.3 coming in. All right. Bye.